Railroad. Okay. Let's go to the Railroad. There you know. Snack catch this guy. Alright guys, what is up? It's one time we back here with another video. So we had a coffee in the morning and we got a breakfast, you know? Not the best breakfast, but we got some coffee. Let's go outside. We're gonna uh be changing the ignition switch in the Buick Regal today. Oh why am I touching my face, Mo? <laughs> now we're gonna be changing the um ignition switch because by the time I turn the key car gets no power so I think we blew the ignition switch on the Buick Regal so let's wrap some tools up get to the garage and well we have the garage we gotta go outside the car and then we have a drop the steering column so this will be a little I guess how to video if you want to count with that that's why I'll probably make the title how to change the ignition switch it's not that hard actually you do gotta get some tight spots and drop it Steering column, like I said, but other than that, it's not bad. But let me get a sip of coffee and then we can start the day. Boom, baby, boom. That beautiful. Beautiful. Let's sit the coffee down. And let's get to work. All right, let me show you an example. I hooked the battery up off camera. It's unhooked. Now it's back to hook up. And let's see. Let me show you. Oh, I didn't do a video or anything on this. Oh, excuse me. But I should have. But I got a new center console put in. So I got four cup holders. I got a little cubby hole I can put all my stuff in. My wallet, my phone, I'm driving. A shifter. And I can install the gauges. I'm probably gonna install the gauges today too. Because I want to try to get the car up and running. Then, I'm, oh, excuse me. You know, I'm gonna do the gauges, but yeah. This nice little homemade center console. These were all the layouts I used. Pretty sick, but like I was trying to show you. Put a phone break just in case. And boom. We got no lights, no headlights nothing so that Lucy tells you when that happens it's losing your ignition switch or something in the fuse box but I think I'm gonna try the ignition switch first and if that don't work then I'm gonna move to the fuse box but yeah so you don't need much tools with this you just need a little bit of patience and some Tight little hands. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Before you start, too, go unhook the battery again. <clears throat> Make sure the battery's unhooked. You know, you're gonna be playing with wires. You don't want to do that. So, unhook that. All right, I think there's some coffee. And then let's climb underneath this darn column. All right, we're going to start with the ignition switch. I forgot to tell you, too, it's installed on top of the steering column. That's where we have to drop it. So, we climb all underneath here. There's a bolt here. One. And there's one right on the other side. Two. So, you just grab your wrench, your impact. You know, whatever you're going to use. And you just... Drop them two. And there's one bolt. Put it right here. We don't lose it. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. Now we're gonna cord that one. It's exactly the same thing. Just drop that bolt, and you're gonna see what happens. See? I take the other bolt out, and look. Boom. Now, your steering column drop. Now it's loose. That's it. So once you do that, I thought it was easier if I took these four out too. Bada bing, one, two. 
and this side bada bing bada boom you jump that that way you have a little bit more room to get by because you know it's still you can see it it's right there so it's kind of easier to take this off I see people would do it without it, but I'm just gonna do it like this. So I'll take that off real quick. Oh, and bolts still up top, these ones. 518, 518, 5 so that means it's a 15 inch, 15 millimeter socket. And I believe these ones right here are 13. Let me check. Boom, 13 socket, you got it. All right, so now I got that plate off. You see, steering column has a lot of play now. The part we're changing is right there. So let me show you how to get to it. So there's actually a bolt right there. Let me see if I can try to show you it. All right there. One nut there, and you go all the way to the back. Wait, where my fingers is? And there's a nut right there. My fingers on it. So we got two of them. Now we drop it. I don't know if I have a good angle or not, but I'm gonna try to get some angle from here. Oh, it's tight. Damn it. Power tool. It's a real small bolt, so it don't take a lot of turning. You can see, really small eight millimeter bolts. That's one, I got one more way in the back now. <laughs> All right, got it loose, boom. So this is now gonna fall off. I got the other bolt out. So now, this is bolted on to the shoot suit ignition safety switch. Damn, what are you even talking about? And now, all I gotta do is get my screwdriver because I think they put the wrong bolt in here, but the Phillips screwdriver, they got that hold it on by. Come over here, let me check it. Cut my phone for a flashlight. Yeah, we're getting some light. But, so that's it right there. So there's one bolt there, one bolt all in the back, and then that screw right there. Once I take that screw out, we're golden. That will come right out. All right, I got that little Phillips screw out. Now, something just fell off. All right, so now, gotta unhook. Let me show you this. This is actually pretty important. So now this key, because we have a key ignition here. So with the key ignition, you're gonna have this. Ah! Let away! So that, that metal, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, that metal. It's gotta go in there like that boom so we got the neutral safety switch drop it now it's hanging and that's how it is now you can unplug it bada bing bada boom and you hook it back up <laughs> all right guys so we waited all day just came in the mail but let's get it out bada bing Ba boom. Put that trash back there. Let's now install the new one. Pretty simple, you know. So you want to look at this one and you see there's the hole. So that will be the hole here. You gotta take this pin out. So black on that side, clear on that side. Simple. Alright, so I just unhook that one. Now you gotta this one. Hard to do this with one hand. So you heard that click. All right. So that's good. Now you take this black piece out. Boom. You just gotta put it up there. So now this hole right here goes on that metal rod I was talking about earlier. So you 
can follow it right there and see it sticks up. So this part will go right in that hole. Now I only got the one bolt right there holding in place, but you want to check it out first. You know, the battery still hooks, the car won't start, but you want to make sure this spins smooth. All right, we're good. All right, make sure the ignition spins really good. That's spinning. So now I just put two last bolts in, I'm done.